head right. coach at University of Maryland. Former Terp himself. First face off, and it's Charlie Rafa with the draw and the score. That could be a league record, six seconds. Goal, you think you got to go 40 goal. yards. That's going to call. That's going to take four and a half seconds on your best day. You're not sub four or five, Washburn, and he scores in six seconds. Charlie Roth is showing off the speed. Pinch and pop out the front side. Let me tell you, a goal in six seconds is about as fast as it can get done. Dream start for the Chesapeake Bayhawks. Charlie Rafa coming into this game has struggled. Quint just one game played, 38% from the X. Yeah, they didn't dress Anthony Kelly tonight, the A-train. So Rafa, now a second-year pro. Last summer as a rookie, he was dealing with a, an assortment of injuries that carried over from his great college career. So if he can get himself back to, to healthy and, the, and then learn to compete a sub like that. Matt Danowski was the biggest mystery coming into this game. Quint obviously still has those responsibilities as an assistant coach. You got temporary residents down there. Back-to-back -back weeks, they recognize me at the local fitness club at the Roots Chris. Craig Bunker, great facility. Name the big koala. Resides in Philadelphia right now. Rafa pushes it forward on Bunker. This time he moves it to Mundorf, who changes levels. Defense gives him more respect. And so he dishes to a left-handed fast break. You've got Love and Mundorf as lefties, so Mundorf's the point man. Defense rotates the opposite way. And Mundorf, as you said, does a nice job changing levels. And once again, Rafa pinches it and pops it forward this time. Finals, I know Severn is playing St. Paul's in one game. Uh, coming from Homewood Field, great pageantry. No, I'm excited. Mark Dix and I are going to get a chance to, to call those games. It, it should be fun. I remember. I is not as developed as it will be uh, down the stretch towards the championship. That's the challenge right now for these teams. But you touched on it in the open. The importance of this game, probably for Chesapeake, despite the fact they're 2 0, the fact that it's a home game. And then you have to imagine Boston's one of those teams. I've got your one, Evan. Who's the two? And it should be said, Nobles playing in his first game of the Major League Lacrosse season. Last year had a quality season. Always a threat in transition as an offensive player with the pole, 25 grand. A handful of uh, coaching vacancies at the Division I college level, but uh, that Mundorf-Westervelt team in the 2006 range uh, some yeah, of the Yeah, I have, a, the, I have the a strong memory of 07 on yeah. this field. And That's right. They're, our conversation with Brian Phipps before this game, he, he spoke to Seabold's shooting ability. And, and I think that's a great point, that that cross check can be a game changer. Here's Rafa once again pushing it forward, but this time looks like Mundorf. That was nice. And we're back. Quick timeout. We spoke. Why have your numbers been so much better in the last two years? He's been at his best of his career. He said, well, number one, being a high school coach, I can commit more time to training, all those things. But he said his knowledge of the game has gotten so much better that he thinks it's helped him become a better goalie because of his ability to anticipate that. Nardella wins the draw, a violation by Rafa, and Boston has numbers here with a minute 20 to go. Shot goes wide. What could have been a super scary incident. Secondary layer to that first half, Quint, beyond the struggles defensively and offensively, it's what Nardella and Bunker, but specifically Nardella, was able to do in the faceoff game. Rafa was dominant, but at halftime, Boston had the advantage, winning eight. Done a good job of stopping Rafa coming out the front side. This is a, a, a extra man or power play faceoff for Boston on the Robinson push late in that second quarter. So this this faceoff is critical. And Boston wins it, so they will have the man advantage. Shooters to monitor season, and something we haven't really gotten into, Quint, with Chesapeake is that this there's a lot on the line this year as Nardella 
is able to get something in transition, and there's Bernhardt. Look at the coaching staff. Tano Argancia standing up behind Brian Reese, Mark Goers, who's a... So not a cup, it's a trophy. Hey, man, I read what the script says. I was the says first, I was the first to call it the Steinfeld Cup. And, and Ben and Adi at the time leaves his crease to support what he thought might have been Abbott scooping up the grounder and circling back. I can't think of any other reason for the netminder to be out of the gold. You see a nice night here in Annapolis, gotten a little chilly. Navy Marine Corps Stadium. Flag down. So it's a man up face off for Boston. And Nardella continues his dominance. Ole as we headed to break, Rafa and Nardella once again meet at the X and this time all because his vision is second to none. A must win for Charlie Rafa at the X. Four goal lead for Boston. But Nardella gets the initial clamp. That's a 50-50 situation picked up by Abbott. Here's and McCready takes advantage. Can Rafa win another one at the X or can his wings help him? Abbott again there. Thanks, Quint, because Rafa hasn't won these clamps, but it's been Bernhardt and Abbott. Now Brody Merrill, 17 in white on that far wing. Two minutes and one second remaining. My money's on 17 in white to come up with this loose ball. Nardella once again wins that clamp. Bernhardt comes down on him, 